We're often asked, what is the best way to share streaming media with students? And I always encourage you to use the embed code on any streaming video you might have. Any video, be it YouTube or a TED Talk, has an embed code. And you can find that by opening the video, clicking on the share button, and then looking for either these opposing arrow icons or a cloud-based icon. All of this code is the embed code, so you can go ahead and copy this. Embed code shows in most streaming media sites, so YouTube, TED Talks have embed codes. Most you just have to look for a little bit. Once you click the share button, there's usually some embed code here that you can just copy. And to share it with students, you can do so in Canvas. Once you've copied the embed code, so if you open your Canvas course, there's a lot of different places you can paste this code. I'm going to use a page just to show you what it looks like. So if I click on pages, pages are any types of dynamic content. I'll go to view all pages and I'll add a new one. So pages, I often think of as like Wikipedia pages. It's just for students to consume the information. So maybe I want to watch this body language video. So I'll say your body language. In Canvas, the embed code icon is usually under the toolbar. You can click on more here. And then you're looking for this cloud icon. And this is where I can paste in that code. So if I copy this and I can paste it, say submit, it puts the actual video in there. And the nice thing about using the embed code is then it removes any advertisements that might be associated with the video. And it also keeps your students in Canvas. The page is also editable as well. So you can like, if it's too large, you can shrink the size up a bit. You can also add in additional information. So if you wanted to type some content below it, um, watch this video. The other nice thing about pages is you can attach documents if you wanted to, you can embed your own videos, you can put in image files and all of these sorts of things. But pages are meant to be content that students consume. Once you've developed the page sort of how you want it, you can put it at the student's to-do list. A to-do list just means it goes on their calendars and they understand though they're not submitting something, they do have to do this. You can save it or you can save and publish it. I'm going to go ahead and save and publish it. And if you use modules to organize your students' content, um, you can add pages to the modules. So if I click on modules here, navigate to the appropriate module, I can click the plus button, and I can choose page, and then I can select that page that I just created and add the item there. You can paste embed code for streaming media other places as well, like PowerPoint. Let me show you how to do this in a PowerPoint slide. If you open a blank presentation and then maybe change your slide layout to some sort of content-based slide, so you can click on insert video and then paste the code here. This works particularly well with YouTube videos because like I said, it removes those ads ahead of time and it also keeps you in PowerPoint. Your, in PowerPoint, your video won't show until you move them into slideshow mode. And it does take a second or two for it to connect because, because these are web-based products. Once so you click play button, it'll keep you right in your PowerPoint and you don't have to link out and leave your PowerPoint slides to go to YouTube. And then when you're finished, you can just navigate to your next slide.